The depth of our relationship to our companion animals knows no limits. The human-animal bond draws us into a world of hope and peace and promise. In this world, there's an energy fueled by loyalty that transcends the ordinary. Yeah, I love that dog. Bill Lukes is an unabashed dog lover. He and his current dog, Jackson, are adding a new chapter to the story. But the plot begins with a dog named Bogey. Bill adopted a five-month-old puppy from a litter that was left in a barn. Bogey had some significant behavioral problems, making him the least adoptable of the group. It wasn't housebroken. I, I couldn't let him interact with people. And so I just started in a very controlled way to take him everywhere. He went everywhere with me. Bo, a Border Collie mix, needed an extraordinary amount of exercise. So together they took on the challenge of agility training. And Bo loved every minute of it. Ready, Just for play though, really. We never really had a specific intention to focus on agility or to get good at it or anything like that. I just did it because Bo, as a particular dog, seemed to need that sort of activity. It was at a meet in 2011 that Bill first noticed something wasn't right. What was thought to be a muscle strain turned out to be a tumor around his sciatic nerve in his right hind leg. And it gradually progressed over the summer, and by August he couldn't walk. Bill and Bogey made the trip from Aspen to Fort Collins to meet the oncology specialist at the CSU Flint Animal Cancer Center. The initial recommendation was a surgical amputation of the limb. This option would have meant a certain end to his agility activities. So for him, I fairly readily made the decision that it, it wasn't a good call. Bill was looking for something different, something new. So at that point, we brought up the idea of doing stereotactic radiation therapy on him, which is basically conformal high-dose radiation where we compress it down into three days and we target it towards that gross tumor that we saw in the MR. Dr. Griffin warned that Bo, who couldn't walk at the time of treatment, would be lucky to walk again. We said to Bill, and we were quite honest with him about it, is that we had never done a tumor like this with that kind of treatment. We didn't know if he was ever going to be able to use that leg properly again. We could reduce his pain and we could give Bill time with Bogey. And he decided that was the treatment that he wanted to go for. Since she was the one who had to deliver the bad news to me, she became the shoulder that I went to for support. And what I had said to Bill is the problem is that this tumor is growing from this nerve. So when I destroy this tumor, I don't know how much nerve he's going to have left. Like, I don't think there's going to be a lot there. So we came back home and a few days later, I sent Lynn a video of Bo who just decided to go trotting down the driveway. I hadn't seen it, it hadn't seen it in months. And uh, things kind of got better from there. There is no question in my mind that the radiation was important. Okay, the jump. radiation got that tumor under control for Good a period boy. of time, Weep. reduced the inflammation Weep. in that nerve so that Bogey wasn't as Weep. uncomfortable Weep. and that he could do all these Good things. Boy. But a dog with less will to live, with an owner who worked a little bit less hard, they never would have got to the level that Bogey and Bill got to. Bogey not only returned to agility competition, he won nationals 11 months after his diagnosis. Now, he's not his fastest anymore, but from, the, from that point forward, it, it was perfectly clear to me that he was inspiring everybody who was there. What we had was this amazing story of this huge bond between these two where they really just fought so hard to get back what was important to them. And I think that that is just really inspiring to know that we're making this huge difference in these people's lives. I think that's what affected me the most was knowing that we helped them. Bogey survived for 13 months, nearly a year longer than predicted. We had a, a great ride together. Um, and a lot of extra fun because of what they did for us at CSU. But I, I don't have the words as to how I would thank them. ACC oncologists so share a motivated owner's commitment to, to deliver the highest care season. possible. 
but then they take it one step further. They leverage that care to feed into a greater body of knowledge. We are as much grateful to the relationship that those people have trusted us with the care of their animals as they are for the care that we've provided. And it's a wonderful circle of life sort of story that comes together under the umbrella of one cure. The image of cancer looks the same no matter if it's a dog or a human. That's the foundation of one cure. I love my job here because we're helping animals as well as um, learning something that will help people. So my particular interest as a diagnostic radiologist is cancer imaging. And this is a dream to be working here and working with these kinds of people and this kind of equipment. Colorado State shares a vision and a common goal with colleagues at the Anschutz Cancer Pavilion at the University of Colorado Comprehensive Cancer Center. One Cure, I think, is a compelling and eloquent way of saying that whatever we discover using our joint efforts in both companion animals and humans will benefit both species. The heart of the synergistic relationship beats within the clinical trials program at the Flint Animal Cancer Center with the goal of improving diagnostics and treatments for all cancer patients. I think we already had that mindset when we came here to help the big picture. Rhonda and Tom Holdley enrolled their dog Justice who was battling lymphoma. Their courage and their foresight will open up a world of possibilities for all patients. Justice was randomized to receive one of three different new chemotherapy drugs for this disease, which is not necessarily a curable disease in dogs and sometimes is difficult to treat in humans. And even though Justice went through treatment, his lymphoma didn't respond as some of them will. We still learned how does the drug affect the cancer cells in his body? What spectrum of toxicity does it have at the dose that it was given? How does his bloodstream handle it? And at what dose and what schedule should it be given in the future as it moves through humans? So it's been a big help. Yeah. Huh. If there's something that, that we could do to gather knowledge, to, to help someone else gather knowledge. How do we know we're not going to help someone in our own family, God forbid? You know, maybe our next animal. Miles just became part of the messenger family. He joins his brother Louie in a 25 year 3,000-member nationwide Golden Retriever study sponsored by the Morris Animal Foundation. It is so wonderful to be a part of this and, and to have something to be a part of that is, that is so important to our family and every family that enjoys the love and companionship of animals. It was initiated in 2012 and led by the Flint Animal Cancer Center director, Dr. Rod Page. To develop a story about their lifestyle, their eating habits, their where they play, what they do, who they, who they interact with, whether it's cancer or diabetes or obesity, we'll be able to identify some of the factors that led to that problem. Jay and his son Josh eagerly volunteered to be part of the longest and largest study of its kind, designed to find ways we can prevent diseases like cancer. Although they, our Goldens have succumbed to cancer, they've had long lives. So this study alone Tracking Louie could be a 15-year study, just tracking Louie, and you multiply that across 3,000 dogs, and ultimately what you're going to have is, is hundreds of years, really, of study and understanding of this disease, and how that then transcends to help in humans, help in other breeds, and help in goldens. One Cure was founded on the premise that what we learn in pets with cancer can positively impact people with cancer and vice versa. Cancer is cancer. We all want it to go away or to be able to treat it better or prevent it or have the treatments be more tolerable. And I think everybody's working towards the same goal. This commitment to each other opens up a whole new world of possibilities. So I think everybody wins from these kinds of programs and this kind of dedication to this disease. Joining forces with one cure means joining the story for hope, hope for prevention, hope for earlier diagnosis, 
hope for improved treatments for pets and people. Because this is a story of one love, one spirit, one hope, one cure. Thank you.